Hello everyone, welcome back to MathMood. Here we have interesting system of equations. 4 to the power x plus 4 to the power y equal to 20 and x plus y equal to 3. If you know an answer, if you feel an answer, write a suggestion in the comment, write your answer in the comment. So let's try to solve it. First of all, I want to suggest you a little bit trick right here. So we need to multiply our first equation by 4 to the power x. So let's do this. We will have 4 to the power x on the left and of course equal to 4 to the power x on the right. But we need to write this 4 to the power x plus 4 to the power y and of course this 20. So we just multiply both sides by 4 to the power x. So let's open these parentheses. We will have 4 to the power x times 4 to the power x. The next plus 4 to the power x times 4 to the power y and equal to 4 to the power x times 20. Nothing hard, just open these parentheses. Right here we have 4 to the power x square. Right here we can add these exponents because we have the same basis and we can write it as plus 4 to the power x plus y. And right here write it the same, 4 to the power x times 20. As you can see right here, x plus y equal to 3. And this is our x plus y equal to 3. So we can simplify this a little bit and we can bring this 4 to the power x times 20 on the left. So we will have 4 to the power x square. I write this minus 4 to the power x times 20 at first and plus 4 cube from here. Because x plus y equal to 3, 4 cube equal to 64 equal to zero. What are we going to do next? Of course, really good case right now because we have 4 to the power x square, 4 to the power x right here and it's a really good moment to use a substitution. So let this 4 to the power x, for example, st. Then we have an interesting quadratic equation, classic quadratic equation, t square minus 20t and plus 64. How can we solve this? Of course, t1 plus t2 equal to 20. I use t theorem right here and t1 times t2 equal to 64. So t1 equal to, of course, the sum equal to 20 and the product equal to 64. So our t first will be equal to 16 and our t second equal to Four. Multiplying we will have 64 and add this is 16 plus 4 equal to 20. So of course we will have two pairs of roots. The first one 4 to the power x equal to 16 and 4 to the power x equal to 4. So 4 to the power x equal to 16 our x equal to 2. And let's go right here. If x equal to 2 our y should be equal to 1 y equal to 1. And this is our first pair of roots. And if we have x equal to 1 from here, our y will be equal to 2. And this is our second pair of roots. If you know an answer, if you feel an answer, write your suggestion in comment, write your answer in comment. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.